I think the, the project represents a, a unique architectural challenge. I think it's a really innovative and interesting combination of uh, clinical modalities and support services. It's been an interesting architectural challenge. It's a constrained site on a busy hospital campus. Uh, and certainly the construction of a major new build like this on an operational campus represents a number of unique uh, challenges. Uh, maintaining functionality through the entire construction project, some interesting challenges out of that. We've worked very hard on creating positive patient environments, even in the spaces that we have got below grade. We've utilised a lot of courtyard spaces and uh, landscaped areas to introduce light down into those lower parts of the building. And we believe that the, the end result of this project will be uh, a very patient-centred uh, environment. been designed in accordance with the eight uh, conservation design principles that we developed um, following a review of the conservation management plan and the borough charter and the provisions of Randwick local environmental plan and having regard to the heritage significance of the site um, the Edmund Blackett building and um, the superintendent's cottage. Yeah, particularly um, the line of sight from the building to back to the medical superintendent's cottage and to the now what will be reopened the major northern entrance to the Edmund Blackett building which is a it's a key heritage consideration.
construction of the Prince of Wales Cancer Centre will transform cancer services at this site. Firstly, it will provide a place, a single point of contact for our cancer patients, one place where they can come for all their treatment rather than having to move across eight different sites across the campus. For our staff, it will provide a place where they can best deliver the skills they've been trained to do, the work they've been trained to do, and will allow us to attract, attract world-class cancer health professionals to work in our centre. And finally, it will allow us to better integrate research findings into clinical practice every single day. Our partner organisations in this project are firstly the University of New South Wales and we're working very closely with the university to build a world-class clinical research facility in the building. Um, this facility will be the first facility in New South Wales to be able to do early phase clinical studies. It will serve as a magnet to attract the pharmaceutical industry, medical devices company, as well as other researchers within the state of New South Wales who want to test the things that they've developed in an appropriate clinical research environment. The AATC will also help us train the next generation of clinical researchers. And so our partnership with the University of New South Wales is a very important part of this project. Our other funding partners for the Cancer Centre are the Naloon Foundation, the Prince of Wales Hospital Foundation and the Frank Lowy Foundation. Those organisations have been very important in providing the financial support we need in order to bring this project to completion. We also need additional support and funding for this project and if people feel motivated to provide that support, we would encourage them to contact the CE of the Prince of Wales Hospital Foundation on the number and website listed below.